Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at the HYM430 SPE Lord Mower. So I've just removed the upper handle from the top of the mower, and I've laid it down to this side at the front of the mower for the time being. Again, being very careful not to damage any of the small control cables. So the next step will be to fold these lower handles up into their position here. I can do the same on this side and fold them into position. So in the bag here, we have all the fastenings we need for this particular job. So let's get started. So you'll notice in the bag that there are some long bolts with black nuts and some short bolts with black nuts. These are the ones we want. So I'll simply unscrew the nut, pass the bolt through from the inside through the square hole, fit a washer and do up the nut. We can leave it fairly loose for the time being and I'll repeat the exact same operation on the other side. Now that the lower handles are fitted, I can lift the upper handle, again being very careful with these control cables. Yes, I can bring it up into position. I'll just pop a bolt through that hole and locate the handle over the bolt. Then I'll locate a bolt through this hole. Again, being very careful not to trap the wires. I can hold it there, fit a washer, and fit the black nut on the outside. Let's come to this side, it's slightly different. For this side, you'll see we've got this little clip here. And it goes on this way round with a little tag facing in towards the bar. Then we can use a washer and then tighten down on the little black plastic hand wheel. Okay, so now we can tighten all four of the hand wheels securely. And that's the hand wheel fitted. We shall come to the use of this pigtail shortly. So now that the handlebars are in position, we can remove these two clips, or one on this side, and there's one on the other side, and just clip them into position over the two control cables. So there's that one there, I can remove this one, and I'll just clip the cable there, and again, down at the bottom here, let's just run it through there, on that side, remove the clip, and clip the power cable for the electric start into position there, and that keeps all the cables out of the way of the grass bag. So the final thing on the handles is to connect these two cables. There is a little separate instruction here. I'll just move that out of the way temporarily. Okay. Here we go. Right, you'll see that you have an upper and a lower cable. The upper cable goes to the front handle. And I don't know whether you just noticed, I'll, I'll actually do it again. You can remove the end of this bar out of the handles themselves and bring it back towards yourself and just loop the end of the cable in and refit the bar into the main handlebars. Exactly the same with the lower cable, it fits into the rear handle. So I'll just pop it out of its hole, connect the cable and pop it back into the hole. And that's the two cables connected and working correctly. This may be a good time to talk about the battery charger. It's quite possible that the battery will be flat when you receive your lawnmower. To charge it up, it will take at least five hours from a flat battery and you would plug the little jack plug into the charging point here on the side of the battery and then connect to a 13 amp outlet. Again, it may take up to five hours with a completely flat battery. However, there is a possibility that your battery will have some charge in it when you receive your lawnmower. When you finish charging, remove the adapter from your 13 amp outlet 
and then simply withdraw the little jack plug. Let's move on to putting engine oil in the engine. Now, the machine is sent to you with no oil in the engine, so it will need filling up before you attempt to start the lawnmower. It can take either an SEA30 or a 15W40 engine oil. I happen to have this four-stroke SEA30 petrol engine oil that is recommended for Hyundai power products. So this is the oil I'm going to use. To remove the dipstick, simply turn it a quarter turn anti-clockwise and you can lift it out from the filler neck. Now you will see on the dipstick that there is a cross-hatched area down here and the letters L and H, low, L being low, H being high and we need to fill the engine oil until it, reach, it reaches the top of this cross-hatched area where you can see the letter H. I've just poured 500ml of engine oil into this jug and I'm going to slowly pour the engine oil down through the filler neck. Now take your time with this and do it small amounts at a time because it will back up in the tube and then you'll have oil everywhere and make a mess. So nice and gently I'll probably pour about 400ml in and then I'll check it with the dipstick. Okay, now I'm going to just take that off there for a moment. I'm going to allow it time, the engine oil I've just poured in time, to run all the way down the tube and into the engine. If I was to dip it too quickly, there's a high possibility that I'd be dipping into the oil in the tube, giving me a false reading. So I'm just allowing it time to run down into the engine. That should probably do it. So I'll just place the dipstick down on the top, lift it back out and have a look. And I'm actually on the low level. So I'll put a little bit more engine oil in. That's taken the full 500 mil now. I'm expecting, expecting it to take a little more. Allowing it time to run down into the engine again. So dip it again and have another look. It's very near to the high mark. One more check. Yes, I could do with some more engine oil. Yes, so we're not quite up to the level on the dipstick yet, so I shall add some more oil. Again, taking it nice and slowly. I'll allow that to run down into the engine. And dip it again. Okay. We're up to the mark of the letter H on the dipstick and to replace it, down in, turn it clockwise quarter turn and it will lock firmly in place. So next we need to put some petrol into the engine. So to remove the filler cap which is here on the rear left hand side of the engine, you just turn it anti-clockwise and the filler cap will come away. Now using fresh unleaded petrol, it will take one litre. So for the purposes of this, I'm just going to pour in around a half a litre. Should be more than enough for this demonstration. When filling your fuel, always do it in a well-ventilated area. And obviously away from sources of ignition. Never fill the petrol tank with the engine running. So to replace the cap, simply screw on clockwise until it's firm. And that's the fuel added. So moving on, a little bit of assembly needed on the grass bag. There's three little plastic channels, one, two and three. They need to be wrapped around this metal bar at the front. So that's one, and two, and finally the lower one. 
up to three. That's the grass bag assembled. Let's look at the controls on your lawnmower. This front lever is called the OPC lever, the Operator Present Control, and it's basically an on-off switch for the engine. When you release it, the engine will stop, and the engine will not start unless it's pulled back. Similarly, with the electric start, the electric start won't operate unless this handle is pulled back. So if the engine were running now and I released the front handle, it would kill the spark to the engine and switch it off. This rear lever engages the self-propelled drive of the lawnmower. So when you pull the rear lever forward, the machine would then go off under its own power. Release the rear lever and again the drive will disengage. Further to this, the electric start button is here and as I said, without this lever pulled, nothing will happen. If I pull the lever, I'll just pulse it, it will engage the electric start. Okay, so that's the controls on the handlebars. On the front of the engine here is a primer bulb. Let's think of it as a choke. So for a cold start, and especially if you haven't run the machine before, so no fuel has been in the lawnmower, we would need to push this around four times to five times occasionally for a cold start. So you simply push it one, two, three, four, five. For a warm start, or if you've been, you know, halfway through mowing your lawn, you may not need to push it at all, but if it's only slightly warm, you haven't been running for very long, you may need to push it twice. So that would be one, two. Okay, so that is basically the choke and cold start button. So pull back on the handle, start the lawnmower. Let go of the handle and the mower will stop. Now it may start if I push it twice this time because obviously the lawnmower is still cold. So there, I pulled the rear handle to engage the drive. So if you lift the rear flap, you will see that the mulching plug has been fitted. So obviously you would fit this plug when you want to mulch grass as opposed to collecting it in the grass bag. So when you're using the grass bag, you could just remove the mulching plug. So to fit the grass bag, you will see two shiny metal bars here, either side of the rear flap, and matching hooks on the front of the grass bag. So to fit the grass bag, you lift up the flap, hook the hooks over the bar, let go of the flap, and that's how to fit the grass bag. It's as simple as that. Another feature on your lawnmower is this single point height adjustment. As you can see, the mower is in its lowest position at the moment, and it has six separate heights. So you pull the lever out, lift up second position, third position, fourth, fifth, and sixth to adjust the cutting height of your lawnmower. All done with one simple, convenient handle. So one final thing to do, if I pull out the full starter, up here somewhere, I can then just put the pull cord in through the pigtail, and I can put the pull starter there in a convenient position. You shouldn't have to use this unless your battery's flat, because you do have electric start. But if you have got a flat battery, this will make it simple to start the mower, so you can carry on working in the garden with a flat battery. So I'll just demonstrate a pull start. So the mower is cold, well cool. I'll just do two pushes of the primer, pull back on the OPC. And as you saw, start the lawnmower. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk I've been Adrian and happy gardening.